Saturday, November 11th marks this year's celebration of Veterans Day. Yeah. Do you have any veterans in your family? I do. Uh, my daughter was in the service, but the principal veteran I could talk about is my dad, who fought in World War II on the Pacific Front. And he was just a top sergeant in the Army, and he was involved in all that vicious fighting with all the island hopping. Um, and then uh, my uncle was actually, uh, did not make it back. This weekend is Veterans Day. Do you have any veterans in your family? I do. I have World War II veterans. One flew a fighter plane over Germany protecting bombers during World War II. His brother was in the Pacific on one of the Navy ships. Uh, but my husband was in the Army and I'm an Army wife of a 30-year career in the Army. Actually, I'm an active duty service member, so I've been in the Navy about um, 18 years. It's going to be January, so uh, I have plenty of family, friends, served you know, long enough to you know, kind of really understand what the, what the holiday means and to celebrate it. I've had uh, a lot of good people come into my life through the service, um, a lot of people that I've lost. Um, you know, the military, we move often. Uh, so the opportunity to, to take that day and reach out to my friends, people I've served with, um, you know, and remember those who, you know, paid the ultimate sacrifice, you know, I, I think it's, uh, it's important to me and I, I really value that opportunity. Veterans Day, when you're not right active duty military, it becomes a week off. It becomes a day off. When you're in the military, in military, when you are an active duty military family, you're very conscious of it. You are attending the the salutes and the honors that they continue to have for themselves, the laying of wreaths and firing cannons and things like that. How do you feel that members of the service, or veterans in particular, uh, are treated in the U.S., and then what can we as Americans do better um, to meet the needs of our veterans? I love what I do. You know, coming from my personal standpoint, I love what I do. Um, you know, I do appreciate it when people thank me for my service, uh, but for me, you know, it's what I signed up to do. I, I enjoy it every day, um, and you know, it's it's what I signed up to do. So for me, it's just a, it's another job. Uh, I don't hold it, you know, higher than the next person. I imagine if I were a Vietnam War veteran, that uh, you know, it was such a controversial war, you probably might not feel that you get the universal respect that you deserve as opposed to someone who fought in World War II, which was you know, pretty much a completely justifiable conflict. My brother is a social worker who works with homeless Vietnam veterans to find them housing and medical care and help get them off the streets and it's a real struggle. Um, sometimes they have fun, sometimes they don't. What is your message to all the veterans on Veterans Day um, and what do you think we as Americans can do to honor them? Give them the money and uh, support they need after they come back. I know a lot of veterans who have had issues and they have a hard uh, time getting the support they need, whether it be financial or medical. I think that would be the principal way to say thank you. When people say to my husband, thank you for the, your service, I think people should be saying that to their school teachers too. So as far as fair treatment for everyone, I think it would start with caring about um, truth and reality. I think people just need to understand um, that, you know, whether they agree with what we're doing as a country or not, um, there's people that are willing to sacrifice themselves for everyone back home, uh, regardless of what you think we should or should not do, you know, across the globe. Uh, so just, you know, taking that time, thanking them for their service and just, you know, supporting them and just like any other human would.